I think if you're selling anything on the internet nowadays, you have to really be careful that, <laughs> that you understand how much it's using you versus you're using it. I mean, these big platforms now have so much control of everything. Here's a uh, article today in the New York Times about Apple Store, yeah, and, and the people sell apps there. So if you're an app developer and, and, and you put your app in the Apple Store, well, who you're competing against? Look at uh, when people go and search for something that in your category. Here, here's the results that all the article, all the apps are going to see first are you know iTunes apps or or uh, Apple apps. And not yours. You'll be way down the bottom. See, they control this the same way that uh, Google controls. Uh, if you're looking for free help with something, Google controls what you see. So the people that they're going to show you most likely are the ones that they're making more money from. The same way with iTunes. They're making more money from selling their own apps than they are from selling your apps. Eh? Uh, and that's what happens, particularly if you're looking for, at least with Google and search engines, they need, you know, you're looking for free help, well, they won't make any money from any website that gives away things for free or free services because those websites will not pay Google money for that. You know, if you're giving money away for free, it's hard to pay for advertising to, to say, hey, I'm giving away this free money uh, and I'll give you money to tell people I'm giving away free money. <laughs> but so many things are like that. You, you're going to do Facebook advertising or something like that. And they control so much of the web advertising and see the robots can control everything. So I think you have to be prepared for if the ro if they change the algorithm that you're working with because it, they have control over it. You don't. And they have all the data and you don't. So I think it's always good to start using backups. Don't rely on any one source. Start collecting names yourself. You know, you learn how through giving away free offers or whatever. Don't rely on one of these big uh, conglomerates uh, for your only source of income because they could change on a dime and then you're SOL and, and out of business. So start collecting names yourself, start selling yourself, you know, uh, and things like that, all through free social media that you don't pay for. And even maybe it's not working as well as the other stuff, that doesn't matter. You, you, you have to start working on backup things. What happened if the flood comes? You know, that's what you got to have insurance for. You can't bet the whole farm on one of these giants, you know, because they could change their mind overnight and they really don't care about you. <laughs> they care about their investors. Yeah, and, and that's what uh, capitalism is about. They're really trying to get as much money as they possibly can for their investors. Sure, they want to help you. And, and they will say that and everything, but their real motive, if they had something else to do to give the investors more money, they're gonna be more motivated to do that. Uh, so just be careful because the, these, you know, there's a handful of companies that are controlling all this information now and people in Europe uh, are getting more upset about this than we are yet. And they're gonna have more controls over that. And so we broke up the phone companies back, what, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whenever that was. There was only one or two phone companies. Now there's a dozen, and now there's, you know, and we try to keep doing that every once in a while. Maybe, you never know. So don't put your hand yourself in someone else's, you know, pocket. Uh, start making your own, you know, plan B if things go wrong. And start developing that now, and it's a way to learn too. So if you learn something new, by doing it and not relying on these other people who have some, everything's magic black boxes and you have no idea what's going on inside their company uh, or inside the robots, what the robots decide. Uh, so start taking advantage of your own skill and test things. You could test all these things without any money and start building another revenue. So you're not, you know, captured by these fat cats that love to rule the world. <laughs>